that they would receive time false. Well, the judge is ready, and we've got the first dog on the line. This is handled by Natasha Wise. The dog's called Maddie. It's a border collie, and we talk about fit for function. This dog, top of the top of form, ten and a half years old, agility champion, Eastern Lyric. So, Natasha and Maddie, you're under starters' orders. It's actually been the dog's most successful agility season ever. It's won two cha championships this year. Normally handlers retire the dogs between 10 and 11 years old. So uh, come to the end of her due to retirement and looking forward to a good retirement. And she's going well, she's really going for it. Oh, Mr. Weaving Pole. That's why the judge moves over to get a good view of the Weaving Poles. We may miss it, but he won't. And got a five forms there. A little bit of over enthusiasm there. And a refusal mark there for missing the entrance of the tunnel. Go on, Natasha. Give a big round of applause. She'll be really disappointed. But I know she'll be really pleased to get a dog through to the finals. Well, we've got a little character of the dog here. It's an Australian working Kelpie, owned by Nigel Staines. His name's Zico, he's six years old. And his full title is Agility Champion, Dragonheart, Dark Destroyer, Agility Warrant, Gold. So, Nigel and Zico, you're under starter's orders. Extremely successful, this dog's been. I mean, very, very successful. It's a really fast dog. We know in the large dog classes they're dominated by the collies because they are so intelligent, they're so fast, they can turn on a sixpence. But this dog beats, um, beats a lot of them, the top dogs and gives them a run for the money. He does run. You see how, how fast he can get out this weave. He's fast through the weave. And he's out the weave in 22 seconds, so he's on touch, in touch on time. Now we've got to get up the A-frame, they've, they've done well where that trap is, where that other tunnel is, just two to go. Go on Nigel, yes! Clear round, 35.93, into the lead goes Nigel Stain to Zico. <coughs> now comes the line, we've got a long distance traveller, you know, down from Broxburn in Scotland, we've got Diane Bissett. She's got a little working sheep though. We've got a few people in Scotland in, have we, supporters? <laughs> Diane Busy with Echo, it's a working sheep dog, four and a half years old. Midnight Hero is the name of the dog, and she's been competing for just two and a half years, and this is the first time at Croft, so she's really uh, a little nervous, I would think. Diane and Echo, you're under starters' orders, and you're chasing a leading time clear of 35.93 seconds. That's what you've got to beat. 35.93 seconds. The idea with all agility handling at the top end is to let the dog go on and do all the work. Work at a distance by command. A little bit like remote control at a distance while you cut the corner. The dog can always go faster than you can. So you're going to cut the corner and let the dog do the work. Unfortunately, five faults. Then another five for a knock bar, and it looks like Steve's given a refusal of the weave. The weave just a bit wrong on the entrance. We have to understand how nervous the handlers are. It's at such a big occasion for them. And she will be disappointed, but just think how well she done just to get here first time. Well done, Diane. Good try, love. 40.93, weave 15 faults. Now on from City Born in Kent, we've got Lee Windiat, and he's got a border collie five years old called Bowles. The full name is Deanna Watercracker. So Lee and Bowles, you're under starters orders. 35.93 seconds to beat. Just get himself psyched up in him so he knows exactly what he's going to do and how he's going to handle it. And the position is going to stand in as all the handlers do. And try and get sharp turns around all the obstacles. That's the key to knocking the time down. The most economical route between obstacles is what you're after. And of course it helps if you've got long legs like Lee. You can cover the ground yourself. 
the week he goes, and he's certainly not even got before with the room so far, he's eight there in 20 seconds. So he's up on time. He's certainly in touch on time. Up and down, oh, five fourths there from off contact. Give him a round of applause, that was such a good try. And look at the time, 32.96. Five faults, unfortunately, and into second place. Hard luck, Lee. Only got one clear round, and only two more dogs to go. Well, she did rather well in the medium, so let's see if she can do rather well in the large dog. Up from Dealey Kent, we've got young Tony Dawkins again. This time she's running her 10 year old border collie kite. Agility champion, spellcast made in heaven is the full title of the dog. So, Tony and Kite, you're actually under starter's orders. And if, as though you don't need reminding, it's 35.93 seconds in the lead at the moment. And our only clear round, I think. Sharp right turn, that was nicely done. No time wasted there. Got him at the right end of the tunnel and she waits, let the dog does the work. Straight on, calls the dog round, look at the handling there, she stood in the middle and directed the dog round. And she's out there in 21 seconds, she's in touch on time. Now again, she's meeting the dog somewhere else, and just encouraging the dog across. And she's got two more to go and he's looking good! What are you doing? Superb! But we've still got one to go. He's up from Chillum in the, I think it's in Surrey today. It's David Munnins. His dog's called Dobby. It's a Border Collie, four years old. Agility champion, Gunran Mystery is the full name of uh, the dog. And Dobby won this final last year and he's hoping to retain the title, he says, but anything could happen. So, David Dobby, you're under starter's orders. He's a brown and white collie, very popular in dog agility. And I don't know why, as we all know, they're no different to the black and whites, but there's a, a great liking for brown and white in dog agility. So let's see if we can knock that time down. 33.77 to beat. And this is a very quick dog. And I'm sure David won't be hanging around now. He's going to be going as fast as he can. Oh, he's got five there. That's very unusual, but I'm sure he'll still have a point to prove with the time. Five faults for him so far. Out the weave there in 20 seconds. So he would have been up at the time, or he's up at the time. Decided he preferred the tunnel, he's got himself eliminated. Give him a big round of applause.